what we have here is we have a system of inequalities. So we have a system of inequalities in which we have a straight line that had an inequality attached to it, y is less than x plus 5. We have another straight line. Let's try and get that to be straight and where it's supposed to be, somewhat. This is going to be another equation. This is going to be another equation. Y is less than some expression. And then we're going to have another, not an equation, it's really an inequality. Y is greater than some expression. And then we have our last inequality. Let's move that. Our last inequality is going to be Y is greater than, and then this one, we could do this, y is greater than x plus 5. Now, the only reason I did y is less than and y is greater than is because it's actually negative x plus 5. Let me fix that. Because I could, I could write those equa equations of those boundary lines very easily. Now, these are boundary lines. So these are all boundaries. Right, And inside we have what is called the feasible region. So inside is the feasible region. Excellent. We want to maximize and minimize, I believe that's what it says, find the maximum and the minimum values of the given objective functions. So we're going to find the vertices. We're going to need to find the vertices of the feasible region. So the vertices are, I'm going to start with the y-intercept, 0, 5, and then I'm going to go clockwise. Then the next vertex of this four-sided figure is 3, 8. 3, 8. And then the next one is going to be 7, 4. And then the next one is 4, 1. And I'm going to be looking at this objective function first. And then I'll follow it up with this second one. What we want to do is we want to put our x value and our y value into the objective function. So we're going to do this for each ordered pair. So for each ordered pair. So for our first objective function, we've got z equals 3x plus 2y. z equals 3x plus 2y. z equals 3x plus 2y z equals 3x plus 2y. And in place of x, we're going to put 0. And in place of y, we're going to put 5. So for this first ordered pair, we get 10. z equals 10. The next ordered pair, we're going to put a 3 in for x and an 8 in for y. That's going to give us 9 plus 16, which I believe is 25 today. And then we're going to have a 7 that goes in for x and a 4 that goes in for y. That's 21 plus 8 is 29. And then we're going to put a 4 in for x and a 1 in for y. 12 plus 2 is 14. z equals 14. So we're looking for a maximum and a minimum. So the maximum is green. This is our max value of z, and our minimum value of z is going to be the 10. So out of 10, 25, 29, 14, 
10 is the smallest value, which makes it a minimum, and 29 is the largest value, which makes it a maximum. So our max value is 7, 4 coming from, or is 29 coming from the ordered pair 7, 4. And the minimum value of Z is 10 coming from the ordered pair 0, 5. So 0, 5 is said to minimize the objective function. And 7, 4 is said to maximize the objective function. Objective function. You could probably hear the tapping of that pencil. I apologize. I'm trying to. trying to do this quietly for you. I think I just pound on this, this keyboard. Okay, so now we're gonna practice, so now you get to practice with the next objective function. So, number two is the one in orange. So we're gonna have z equals x minus 4y. z equals x minus 4y. And now I'm going to make that a little bit larger. z equals x minus 4y. z equals x minus 4y. And z equals x minus 4y. And the ordered pairs, once again, I'm going to copy those down. 0, 5, 3, 8, 7, 4, yep, that was a 7, 4, and 4, 1. And remember, those are the vertices of the feasible region. So go ahead and try and see which ordered pair maximizes and which one minimizes. Which one maximizes and which one minimizes. And then when you're ready to reveal the answer, come on back and I will show you what I've gotten. So I have negative 20. I have 3 minus 32 is negative 29. I have 7 minus 16, that's going to be a negative 9. And I have 4 minus 4, which is 0. So our minimum value is negative 29. 3, 8 minimizes. Z, which is our objective function, and then our maximum value is zero. So the max, that's the highest value, that's zero. So four comma one maximizes Z. Maximizes Z. So if you got that, yay. So now we know how to actually maximize or minimize an objective function or at least come up with those maximum minimum values. Now what happens when we don't have the picture already given to us? Well, we're gonna do that in another problem, but let's try and use this feasible region. Let's see if you can do number three and four on your own. And I'm going to provide the answers. They are decimals, but I believe that you can persevere through these decimals and make it work. Even if you have to pick up a calculator, that's okay. Okay, I really encourage you to press pause, or if you just wanna stick around and watch the problem again, you're more than welcome to do that. I'm gonna work through this, 618, and I circle my feasible um, region vertices 10, 8, and 0, 0. So we're going to have, I'll try a 0, 0 first. And when I put a 0 in and a 0 in, I get z equals 0. 
then I'm going to do 0, 16. That's going to be 0 plus 1.25 times 16. If I go over to my calculator, I'm going to get 20. So z equals 20. And then I have another one, 618. And 6 times 0.35 is 2.1. And 1.25 times, I don't even know what I wrote here. What did I write here? 6 comma 18. 6 comma 18. There we go, much better. Um, 18 times 1.25, I use my calculator. I got 22.50, so that's going to be 24.6. And I'm thinking of it in terms of money, so that's why I put 60 at the end. So z equals 24.60. And then our last ordered pair, 10, 8. That's going to be 3.5. And then 8 times 1.25 is 10, so that's going to be 13.5. So our smallest, 0, 0, minimized, and our largest right here, so the max is 24.60, and that's 6 comma 18 maximized the objective function. Okay, number 4. Again, we have let's change our color here. Let's make it let's make it this pretty blue. 0 0. So when we put a 0 in, we get 0 minus 0, which is 0. And then our next ordered pair is 0 16. 0 minus 1 half times 16 is 8, so that would be negative 8. And then we have 6, 18, and 3 halves times 6 is 9. And then half of 18 is 9, so that's going to be 9 minus 9 is 0. Not very interesting. Two zeros. Hmm. Pretty cool. And then 10, 8. 1.5 times 10 is 15, and half of 8 is 4. 15 minus 4 is 11. So which one is our maximum and which one is our minimum? Well, our minimum is negative 8, and that ordered pair 0, 16 minimizes, and our maximum is 11, and our ordered pair 10, 8 maximizes. So maximizes. And minimizes. Awesome. So in the next video, we're going to have to create the graph ourselves. And then we'll go through and we'll maximize just one objective function for number five. And you can see we're going to get some more practice with number six, number seven, number eight. So we're going to be practicing graphing these, these problems and then going through and either maximizing or minimizing.